Hey Internet, so today I'd like to do a quick rant on political infighting. Yep, this will be a fun one, alright. Because I recently visited Fabian Liberty's stream and we had a brief discussion on how I somehow managed to be one of the few white thing libertarians that manages to just kind of avoid any issues of libertarian infighting. So I'd like to explain how I do that, as well as go over some reasons for why you should try and avoid most political infighting as well. These reasons will also apply to you if you're just kind of a general conservative, but it's mostly reasons why you should avoid most libertarian right infighting. So first off, the big motherload question, how do I do it? How does Mentis Wave avoid all of the cringe drama of libertarian political infighting? It's quite simple, really, I just ignore it. <laughs> no, really, that's it, there's no secret, I just ignore it. But I guess that then just kind of brings us to the real question, which is, how do I manage to let myself ignore it? Because I'll admit, sometimes the infighting can be a little bit hard to ignore. And the way I help myself ignore it is because I realize why it's hard to ignore. You see, the thing about infighting is the reason political infighting happens is largely because it's easy. These are people who are usually close to you in your group of nearby political ideology. And let's just be honest, no two people ever agree on everything 100%. Even with people who share the exact same political ideology, you're not going to agree 100% on how to interpret that ideology. For instance, let's say you have a best friend and you agree with each other on just about everything and you've known each other your whole life. But the reality is, if you sat with each other and talked with each other about things, you'll probably find at least one or two things you don't agree on. There's always going to be that 1% of things that you have some kind of difference over. And the thing is, because he's your friend, that makes it easy to talk with him about. It's not like people who you strongly disagree with, who you probably, if you're like most people, never really hang out with them that much. When it's your friends, they're right there nearby you. And thus, getting into infighting is very easy. And at some point in my life, I just kind of realized that a lot of infighting is is really just the result of laziness. It's a result of not being willing to go out and do the extra work to interact with ideologies and beliefs that you strongly don't agree with. So a lot of times libertarian infighting and drama is just a result of them being right there. Especially if you're one of those debate bros because then you become a hammer and then everything nearby you looks like a nail. But you have to avoid the temptation and here's a few things to remember that'll help you avoid that temptation. First off, and absolutely most importantly, realize that there are bigger fish to fry. This is the main go-to one for me. Whenever I'm personally considering the possibility of giving in to that temptation and going for that sweet, sweet infighting, I always, always remind myself that there are bigger fish to fry. Because we, on the libertarian right wing of things, we are very, very much outside of the cathedral. We are not part of the eternal prestige seeking cluster fail that is within the range of what people would consider correct trademark opinions trademark. And the reason is because there's so, so, so much propaganda out there. There are whales out there with millions of subscribers and followers or whatever, or people who appear directly on mainstream cable TV news who are propagating ideas that go against the value of freedom and they're getting paid millions of dollars to do it. The amount of frauds and big grifters out there who are essentially nothing more than paid shills is so high and so massive that all I have to do to avoid political infighting with other right-wing libertarians is to remind myself of the whales who actually do need to be refuted and do need to be taken down. And so every second I would potentially spend on any kind of libertarian infighting or drama, the second that I am not spending dissecting the actual serious propaganda that actually is demonstrably causing real problems in the world. I mean, just as a simple example, let's go to, I don't know, the philosopher. Could I go through her channel and find some minute thing to nitpick her on in which we disagree with each other? Sure, I probably could. But why on earth would I pick on her when Robert Reich exists and nearly every single video he posts contains disinformation or lies based on data taken out of context, outright DNC propaganda. No, seriously, real question, why would I pick on the philosopher when we have people like this guy getting millions of views telling people things that he ought to know are not true? I mean, just go back and rewatch my recent video on Robert Reich and just look at how deeply he takes data out of context. There's no way any semi-intelligent human being could have possibly made the arguments he made without knowing that he was taking data out of context to push things that were not true. And that's just the kind of thing that goes through my mind whenever I think of infighting. There's just so many more important things to do. Another thing that helps me avoid infighting is realizing that, at least for us libertarians, an actual tangible achievable goal within our lifetime right now would really just be reducing the state at least to the point where we're allowed to have a private city with freedom of association with it. And this realization helps 
me avoid other just general right-wing infighting. Like Sargon of Akkad, for example. I'll just use a big one. Most of you probably know who that is. Now, Sargon of Akkad and I probably agree with each other on more like 80% of issues, because he's more like a right-wing classical liberal type, traditionalist conservative. Now, I could, if I wanted to, focus on the things we disagree on, but realistically, I also know that if people like him were to somehow gain power, that might actually potentially be a pretty big win for libertarians. Why? Because people like Sargon would actually be interested in leaving us alone. Is it the Austrian economics ideal? No. But it would at least be a stepping stone in the right direction. And the last reason that I often remind myself that helps me avoid infighting and why you should avoid infighting too, is realize that a lot of things, especially us libertarians that we argue on, are details that in the end won't really matter as much as we initially think that they do. For example, I'll just quickly go over the open borders thing. And this might shock any general conservatives watching this video right now, because I know that my videos tend to get watched by either conservatives or libertarians, or some people who are in between. Which is that, in the end, open border libertarians, as well as closed border libertarians like myself, actually technically want the same thing. We both ultimately believe in privatized borders, because we both believe in private property and freedom of association. Which means that if a privately developed city decided that they want to keep others out, that would be totally within the scope of libertarian philosophy. The only real difference between the open borders and closed border stance, at least in how right-wing libertarians view it, is just whether or not it's a good idea to do it now. And in there, there is some kind of nugget where inviting can have a little bit of benefit. For instance, I do think it's important to discuss things like strategy, but at the same time, you then have to go back into the ocean and look at the whales swimming around. Because ultimately, any kind of open borders or closed borders policies would have to work in the way the world currently operates and would have to work within the ocean that is currently dominated by the big fish. Which then just really brings me back to the first reason. There are bigger fish to fry. There is tons and tons of very stupid, woke, lefty, prog, utter nonsense that is being regularly paraded around and promoted by the algorithms to hundreds of millions of people that frying those fish is a much, much more important task to the point where infighting, more often than not, is just a big fat waste of time. Anyways, that's all I have to say about it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, tip, and all that, and leave a comment for the algorithm and all that. Till next time.